Yeah, but, but Harry Reid isn't just being pulled, he's also being pushed. Here is a really different type of ad that's being run in Mr. Reid's home state of Nevada by the Progressive Change Campaign Committee. I'm watching to see if Harry Reid is strong and effective enough as a leader to pass a public health insurance option into law. Here in Nevada, the majority wants it. Senator Reid, these insurance companies cannot be trusted with our lives. Nevadans want the choice of a public option. Harry Reid experiencing the public option, push me, pull you, in the media markets in his home state as he runs for re-election. This is politics firing on all cylinders. Reform supporters think they are in the last lap of this race. They also think they're winning. Are they? Joining us now is Adam Green. He's co-founder of the Progressive Change Campaign Committee. That's the group airing that TV ad pushing Senator Reid on the public option in Nevada. Mr. Green, thanks for your time tonight. Good to be here. So tell me about this ad. The message is that Senator Reid is weak if he doesn't get strong reform with a public option. Why did you choose that as your message for these Nevada ads? Well, we launched this ad at our website, boldprogressives.org, because it's really time to pressure Harry Reid to be bold. This is the time for leadership. Uh, honestly, it shouldn't even be in question as to whether you know, Democrats will be there on the basic procedural question of allowing uh, an up or down vote. But unfortunately, that's the case. It's Harry Reid's responsibility to solve that issue. If he gets all Democrats to commit to allowing an up or down vote, that will dramatically change the final contours of the bill. And we want him to come face to face with some of his constituents and make it clear that they will be looking at him for strength and they will cast their vote based on whether he's strong on this issue. Well, you've, you've boiled it down to, to the nut here, really, in a way. If you have to boil it down to, to one vote, one thing, whether or not we get strong health reform may depend on whether or not Republicans get to say that health reform needs 60 votes to pass. If it only needs 50 votes, it passes, it's the public option, it's everything. If it needs 60 votes because of a filibuster, all that is in jeopardy. And the only way, of course, they can make it to 60 votes is if a Democrat sides with the Republicans on that. Are you worried that uh, Senator Ben Nelson or, or any of these other specific conservative Democratic senators will do that? They'll help the Republicans make it a 60 vote threshold. Well, they're, they're threatening that. Uh, Bell Nelson in particular has taken millions of dollars from the insurance interests and is a former insurance guy himself, and he's probably gonna be the last person to agree to not side with Republicans on a filibuster. But again, it's Harry Reid's responsibility as leader. He campaigned for years now, uh, telling voters, give us your money, give us your time, give us your votes, and if Democrats have 60 Senate seats, we can bring about sweeping change on core Democratic issues like health care. Uh, his legacy, Harry Reid's legacy, will really be judged in this moment, uh, not just nationally, but also back home. Uh, the PCCC just announced a new poll today, which actually showed, shockingly, 52% of folks in Nevada think that Harry Reid is a weak leader and he would lose your election right now. So we're, if anything, being kind of motivational speakers for him, saying if you want to solve that problem, you really need to be strong at this moment. Get the Ben Nelsons on board and pass a strong public option into law. Adam, your group has, has done ads really focusing on the Senate. Uh, you're obviously targeting Reid now, polling on that subject as well. Uh, you're targeting Senator Ben Nelson in Nebraska and Senator Max Baucus in Montana. Do you think that Nancy Pelosi and Democrats in the House are doing better on this issue than Democrats are doing in the Senate? Yeah, if, if Harry Reid wants to see an example of leadership, he can look to Nancy Pelosi. I mean, her essentially not just saying, I support the public option as one person, but it's time for Democrats to get in line, tell me where you stand. I, I assume there's kind of a stick there where, you know, if they're at 215 in terms of votes when they need 218, she's probably going to lay down the law with some people. You know, that's the way to do things. And uh, hopefully, Harry Reid will take a lesson from that. You know, the bill in the House right now is very strong. It's kind of the example of what a public option should be in many people's eyes. And if Harry Reid can get a public option into the Senate bill, the compromise in the conference committee will be fantastic. But again, it's up to him to be bold, to show strength, and hopefully we can give him a push to make him go there. I was gonna say, hence all the pressure on Harry Reid. Adam Green, uh, co-founder of the Progressive Change Campaign Committee. Thanks for your time tonight, Adam. It's good to see you. Yep, thank you.